Okay, welcome to For the King. I'm here with Mac. And okay. I, well, he was a skeleton before, but he is no longer a skeleton. We're here with Dargo. Boo. That's the part where you say hello. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> so, how did you get that skeleton? I died. You want that's fair. That's that that's fair. So <laughs> I, said, I, I actually the, don't know what we're doing. Dollar. What are we doing? We're doing the story mode, the first adventure out of this game. Yeah, and you said there's three. Uh, yeah, there's three ones of actual story. The rest of them are just like mini games. Huh. Okay. The first official is good stuff. And if we survive okay. long enough, the ending will make you chuckle. I love a good chuckle. Yeah, we all, love <laughs> we a all like a chuckle. As we can <laughs> see, I'm I'm sticking with my 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 common game for some unknown reason. I think I think I should wear this very tactical helmet that we can all see as a helmet. No. Um. No. Uh, I I like the hair on the warlock. Yeah. I honestly right. I'm gonna change this a second, but I really wanted I wanted that hair on the warlock. It just looks better. Um, that's not. Yeah, that's a. That's a. That's a pirate hat. But yeah. No, it's pirate. Ah. Should I be a woodcutter or a treasure hunter? You can be whatever you want to be. I'm in this house. This guy has a gun, so guns do gun things. Woodcutter. I'll no, the, no, the treasure hunter is pretty good. Excuse me. It gives us pretty good stuff. I. I think. I think you should. I think I think you should I think you should be treasure hunter. So, admittedly, so I've played highest, this game man? before. Mac has played once or twice, and Bertargo has played. Of the vet. Yeah. Well, okay, right. Technically, me and you are both veterans at this game. We both started playing before. Um. So context here. This game, when it was first released was called the untitled game so they gotcha. had made the game and it was was pretty good basically the same as now there's a few different changes that was still all the same but this is like a turn-based game so it is but they made the game before there was a title and honestly i like the ring of the untitled game but this is now called for the king but we all know that it's the untitled game so should I should I call this the Untitled Game Let's Play then? The Untitled Game. I think you should. Honestly, I think you should. <laughs> but it's so misleading because no one will know unless they actually know. You know what you should do, right? Okay, boy. Put the title. No, no, no. Wait. Put the title is for the king, but in the description, say you know me and Mac play the Untitled Game question mark. I just don't say, don't say for the king, and then that way people who know will know. Now, Mac, you being relatively new to this game, what do you think about it so far? What are your thoughts so far? Oh god. Chaos. Good King Bronn has been slain. The once peaceful kingdom of Faru being corrupted by wild chaos energy. Ravaged by monsters and bandits. Oh no. The grieving queen, <laughs> Rogamon, has called for Faru's ordinary citizens to search the land, the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest, where there have been rumours of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods. Three wood heroes, that's us, meet in Orton to begin their quest. Oh, hell yeah. It is this Vexel vanished, and then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last one to come. <laughs> oh no, Zelda. <laughs> You're right there. Oh god, there's more. Stick it. Tell the prince into Woodsmoth. You will be told how to. Keep going, come on. You're right there. Compose, compose. Professional. Well, let me take a sip of my pants. No, okay. <laughs> Professional drink. Yep. Seek out Tell the prince in Woodsmoth. You will be told how to best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Drive against this chaos and let all roads be consumed by it. Quest deck to put a wood smoke. 
All right. Okay. L let's do it. Uh, party quest. Go to the woods and get the garden forest. I think for this we should all narrate at least one character. <laughs> I think that's a great <laughs> idea. I agree with it. <laughs> To map travel. Push from left to right. Turn. Left to middle right. There'll be rules. That's how many turns. That's how many steps. That's like per turn. And if you click on each time, you get services, which is essentially go to an end to heal. Take your focus. Healers will remove curses, and bless you will just remove all curses. There's a market and a quest board. So, here's how it works. If you attack an enemy, they have a range of attack. Oh, so those... Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> go on. Right, so when you go to an enemy, if you're not... Say, for instance, you and Cargo are up by an enemy, you, your character is in the red square, you'll be in the fight. But if I'm away, I won't be. And as you can see, on the left hand side is us, the enemy we're fighting in a cockpit of the enemies, the level. No, uh, there's outcome slots. If you ambush, you get the first attack. Where if you fight them, you can use they get the first attack. attack. You can use focus yet. Or you can sneak by them, if you're going to be passing on the map. Yes, but that only allows you to go through their square without being attacked. But it is, I think it's personally, I think it's better to attack most of them. Right, we're gonna try and ambush them, because we're just gonna try and squat a bee. Swat. Ta-da! Ah, yeah. If you ambush, you successfully get one free attack at the beginning, regardless of your speed. <laughs> Champion of Fox. <Fowl. laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a weapon. I don't know, I wanted the sponge. I had the munchies, I'm sorry. Perfect rule. Oh. This is essentially DND, but dumbed down into like the absolute lowest level. Ah, there's still stats in the way you should do. Yeah, there's still stats, it's all, it's all done for you. You don't have to like do calculations. Yeah. So, you no, know, if you sneak, you go through it. If you want to fight it, you have to ambush your fight. Unless you want to sneak through the square. I'd say ambush. Let's, let's, let's shoot him. No, he wants let's to sneak. sneak. Wait, what? Oh, sneak field. Field? No, I, uh, I, used, amb I used ambush. No, sneak doesn't oh. put you through the square anymore. I, um... I could have swore he had selected sneak, right? I got this. Leave this to the real professional here. <laughs> you a perfect rule. That's right, and because this book does specifically piercing damage. Now, when it comes to gold, we we share it we'll all unless until we get multipliers. Yeah. So that's for you. I'll add it to the collection. So, uh, if Mac wants to hit Y really quickly. Your stats and stuff are at the top, so they are all the symbols, the muscle symbol, the heart, the brain, the eye, the juggler, uh, the ninja, and the clover. All of those, your character is specifically better at one of those stats. So if you're a brain, usually it's a mage stat. Um, you know, if you're a tank, whatever. And, uh, that corresponds with what weapon you can use. So it does. You still have the ability to wield other weapons if you have to, but it's better to stick to your class. Oh, lucky. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I actually oh. went out and uh, right. I'm gonna actually look at the market here. Yo. Look. I see a sanctum. Focus. Oh yes. I'm sorry, but I'm. I didn't mean to. You know what? No. Okay, right. So you have these things called teleporting scrolls, and I am going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> no tutorial needed. It does what it does. 
be teleported. Yeah, but like at the same time, you're gonna have to understand. I am looking in the store at the moment. Ward shield. It is the taunt ability. So it does. So there are special abilities and stuff. Like your blue armor represents physical damage. So if someone hits you with an actual sword, that'll do physical damage. Resistance? Yeah. You have the green is speed, so it's how fast your character is and more likely to dodge an attack. But well, I have a it's, it's dodge a, chance. So yeah, the speed basically. symbol for the run man is speed, which means fighting a guy without ambushing him, Jack will always go first. He is the highest speed. Solve the cult device in the garden forest. All right. We, we should investigate. I think we boys. should investigate further. 